You know, I think the biggest regret that I have after my wife passed away from alcoholism a little over four years ago was not understanding the signs of alcohol use disorder in her. Uh, I hadn't grown up around it. I hadn't really never been around someone who had this issue, and I didn't understand it. If I knew then what I know now, uh, there's a lot of different actions I would have taken. I would have put her in a rehab facility 10 years before we ever did. And there's a lot of other obvious things going on with an alcoholic member that you need to learn if you're in that situation. So let's delve into this. You know, I think the first thing that family members need to tap into is their own kind of spider senses. If they have a loved one who is, they think is drinking on a regular basis and denying it, for example, if you have a son or daughter or spouse or, you know, whatever the loved one is, and you think that there is an issue, uh, you can smell it on their breath sometimes, their eyes aren't correlating, they have slurred speech, but they're not confronting it and, and you're used to it. It's part of their daily life, uh, whether anybody's talking about it or not. These are things that as a family member, you can be aware because families are the front line to defense and to expose these kind of truths to the person who is going down that road. I really think one of the biggest mistakes that I made uh, looking back with my wife is not putting her in a rehab 10 years earlier. We didn't really get her help until she was on, I think, her second DUI. And by then, uh, she'd been drinking for a good 15 years, at least as long as I had known her at that point. Uh, and she had had a lot of different episodes where she would fall down drunk, uh, she went, would have drinking binges, and she did all the classic signs drinking in isolation, hiding bottles and cans, uh, and really lying about the whole issue to both you know, ourselves and to herself. Now, I think part of the problem with a lot of people, uh, a lot of families anyway, is that they're, they're really scared to take action. They're afraid that you know, they, it may cause bigger problems. They're afraid of the confrontation and the drama that might result uh, from confronting their loved one. But he, here's the thing. You have to learn from somebody who's been there and gone down that road. And if you don't make those confrontations and you wait, you know, another five or 10 years, it's only going to get worse. Uh, in my case, you know, uh, my wife died. Uh, so if I had been able to confront it and had the understanding that I needed to confront it or even how to confront it, uh, there's, you know, maybe a bigger chance she would have survived. You know, again, it's not the responsibility of the family members. By, there's no question they're the biggest line of defense. I mean, if nobody, if the family's not going to get involved, who is? So again, if you have uh, issues concerning yourself and your family similar to this, links are in the bio. Set up a breakthrough call and let's let's get you know your loved one on a path of sustainable sobriety. Uh, I've helped thousands of alcoholics, and most importantly, I've helped their families. And again, thanks for listening.